attending the Ohio University as a studio arts major. Um, Moss has been a student in many of my classes uh, throughout the beginning of your school career. And um, something I really uh, want to point out to everybody is that as soon as uh, Moss came in as a sophomore, she was uh, out researching colleges and universities uh, to find the best fit for her. And I was so impressed with that as a, uh, a person at such a young age. And um, here we are at your senior year, and um, Moss has decided uh, to go to the Ohio University. And uh, I was just amazed at how um, humble you really are, <laughs> because um, in talking, we always talked about uh, schools and everything. And it was just recently I found out that um, Moss was chosen for the uh, Cutler Scholar for the College of Fine Arts at Ohio University, which um, Ohio University only um, awards to 15 incoming freshmen each year. And uh, it's a $20,000 a year scholarship, um, plus a summer stipend. And it um, it's awarded to, and I quote, um, to students, scholars chosen on uh, based on their intellectual curiosity, leadership, service and character. And um, I think this describes Moss to a T. Um, she's not only, he's not only an excellent artist, but um, musician and the marching band, camp counselor, um, really involved all the way around. And, um, and also a very kind person. <laughs> um, I'm very pleased that Ohio University recognized that in you and that you, um, all your hard work and research has paid off and <clears throat> I know that um, the other teachers uh, would agree that have had you that um, you'll be a great role model for that um, for that community as well okay thank you <laughs> program um, being awarded the um, Creative Visions Award Scholarship, which um, will total over $42,000 over the four years. Um, she's really pursued her dreams as an artist by continually working on the things that she is very passionate about. Um, last year, um, last year, Alex completed the AP Studio Drawing. Uh, portfolio and her body of work earned the highest rating by the College Board. Um, she's had a, also a very busy and successful senior year. She was chosen to represent uh, Loveland High School for the uh, Visual Arts category in the Overture competition. Um, her work was chosen for the jury uh, Xavier Biennial Art Show and her work has received both um, Gold Key and Honorable Mention from the Scholastic Art and Writing Award. And um, most recently, Alex was awarded the Loveland Arts Council Scholarship worth $4,000, and um, that also happened to be on her 18th birthday. <laughs> um, her successes are a result of her hard work and focus, and of course, talent. And um, I know the faculty has enjoyed your work with the animal paintings and um, watercolors, and um, your We've enjoyed seeing your vision throughout your high school career. So we look forward to seeing what you'll produce in the future and wish you all the best. It is my pleasure to introduce Mackenzie Talbot. Um, I have known Mackenzie as a musician in my orchestra for eight years. Um, but her uh, real passion, she's very passionate about a lot of things, but her real passion um, lies in uh, more visual arts. She will be attending the Kent State University to major in visual merchandising and fashion um, with plans to become a creative director um, or a museum installer or I just keep the, the, the design in your store will be brought to you by Mackenzie. Um, she has uh, 
very, as I said, passionate nature. Um, she is extremely expressive, and she's got very strong creative ideas that I know will lead her in the, in the right direction. She's going to be very successful in this area because of her um, good eye and her observation skills and strong Mackenzie interpretation. So, uh, um, Kent State needs to look out because she's Right? <laughs> um, anyway, congratulations, Mackenzie. This is Maya Earl, and uh, Maya will be attending the University of Cincinnati, DAP, uh, where she has been accepted into the Fine Arts Program. Um, Maya is a multi talented artist. Um, and even though she is pursuing the career in visual arts, she is also a talented musician. As many of you would know. Um, she's very, she's been very active in the visual arts since her freshman year. Um, she's taken a wide range of art classes and if you uh, watch the LHS and uh, news, she is that character artist. <laughs> so she is a character there. Um, recently Maya completed the AP portfolio and um, her, her work is just very original um, and thoughtful and just exhibits such a great deal of uh, skill. Um, in addition, her artwork was also chosen for the um, Xavier Biennial Art Show, and she's also been awarded a uh, thousand dollar scholarship from the Loveland Arts Council. Um, it's been my pleasure to have seen Maya grow in confidence and skill over these last um, few years, and um, and realize your dream of getting into a DAP program. It was always your dream, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> So it's very happy to uh, hear that. So um, with your skill and determination, I have no doubt that um, you will become a successful designer and artist that you wish to be. Thank you very much. All right, so here's Beth Ann Hughes. Um, she has taken art one, graphics, photography one, photography two, and is currently my aide. Which one of those is most complicated, I'm not sure, but we keep her busy as an aide. Um, Beth Ann's work has always been uh, eye catching for sure. Uh, her portraits are probably the best thing I've seen come out of her. Um, she's really good at, I think, interacting with people and seeing the light. And uh, if you check out her Instagram, I'm sure you'll see that. Um, let's see what else here. Surprisingly, she wants to go travel. I say surprisingly because portrait photographers are usually very quiet and they like to do their own little thing or whatever, but she's going to go see the world after going to a high university, hopefully. And uh, hopefully become something like a National Geographic photographer or something along those lines. So it is my pleasure to announce her uh, Ohio University Visual Communication Concentrating in Photography. So thank you. I have the privilege of speaking on behalf of Margaret, um, one of the finest vocal choral students we've had come to the program in a long time. Um, <coughs> she not only understands music, she understands how to share music with others, and hopefully you've had the opportunity to see her perform, not just in the choral facet, but also on the stage in the theater. Um, she's been very active in, in our theater program uh, and done very well with Cappy nomination last year and this year as uh, Morticia Adams. Um, in 2016, she received a Cappy nomination. She should have won. Um, uh, and, and I've just been really excited about the future for Margaret. Uh, this year, she's doing a, an internship uh, in class where she's been uh, directing the Freshman Ladies um, concert tonight at 7 o'clock. Feel free to come out. Um, and she's been doing a fantastic job. Um, one of one of few students that I've had going into music that I just can't wait to see what happens when she comes out. I think she's going to be a fantastic teacher. I think Capital University is the place for her, and I think it's going to be a magical fit. So I'm, I'm excited to see what happens. Margaret's also been heavily involved in the strings program, uh, in guitar, and in AP music theory this year. So I think she's done she's done the uh, the legwork and now uh, is, is ready to move on and do some great things at Capital. So, congratulations.
It's, uh, it's an honor to speak on Garrett's behalf. Um, I've seen Garrett grow through my program, uh, not only as he's grown, but as I'm growing too. Um, seeing him as a freshman come in and watching him develop uh, throughout these four years has been an honor, a privilege, and it's actually been super inspirational. Um, don't know if you're aware of this, but I think uh, as a teacher, when you start planning a lot of your uh, course curriculum around your development, um, not only because it's what you need, but because you help everybody out so much and you help everybody around you grow, it's really, uh, I've never had a student like that. Um, and it's really awesome every day to come in, um, not only to teach everybody, but to see you also teach everybody as well. Um, and of course, you're a monster player, and here's where I say a whole bunch of jazz slang that maybe none of you know, but uh, he's the baddest dude on saxophone. <laughs> um, and it's just really a privilege, and it's been great to get to know your family and how supportive they are in what you do. Um, and you're going to make a kill, and I can't wait to see it, and I can't wait to play with you. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I have the privilege of speaking on behalf of Spencer Johnson. Uh, Spencer has had a very unique school year where he's basically been able to intern with me all year long. Uh, he took all three of my band classes, concert band as a percussionist, symphonic band as a French horn player, and wind symphony as a trombone player. He's in my AP music theory class and he had an independent study with me in conducting this year. Uh, he's also conducting the choir on this concert. Come out tonight and see him conduct Salvation is Created. Uh, he's also worked with Mrs. Birkin in the orchestral realm as well in conducting and playing trombone. Um, he literally has taken advantage of every opportunity we've given here at Loveland, including the jazz bands in years past and marching band in trombone. Uh, Spencer is an incredible, incredible musician. Uh, it's really rare to find high school students as in love with classical music as Spencer is. Uh, and I know um, that Spencer has had studying music on his mind since I met him three years ago. Um, when I was first given the job here at Loveland, I think he was one of the first people to greet me and said, how do I get a conducting degree? <laughs> that was the first, that, I mean, literally, I didn't even get his name yet. And, uh, and, and we laid out the curriculum, and, and here he is going to CCM. Uh, for bass trombone performance, uh, which is my alma mater too. So I really can't be much more proud of uh, all the things that Spencer's done here at Loveland, and I can't wait to hear him uh, in the Symphony Hall near us soon. So uh, one more big round of applause for Spencer. I also have the privilege to speak on behalf of Claudia Bo. Um, and Claudia has had uh, an exceptional school year and time here at Loveland. She also has taken advantage of so many opportunities given here at Loveland, has taken my AP Music Theory class last year, has been in the jazz band and the symphonic band uh, here, and is in the choir this year as well, singing. Um, and Claudia has really blossomed this year uh, as a trumpet player. Sounds absolutely amazing, and I'm really excited for her attending NKU next year. Uh, I start every week uh, every class of mine, has anyone done anything uh, musically appropriate over the weekend? And Claudia here absolutely throws her hand up every single weekend, and she's got this great, broad, vast view of music and is trying to get involved in so many ways. So every Monday I get to find out that she just acquired a flute and is learning how to play the flute, or she sang in her church choir, or she just joined the handbell choir, and every single week she's finding new and different musical opportunities to get a, uh, her hands on, which is incredible to watch. Um, another thing about Claudia is she really enjoys bringing people together to make music with, and she'll do that on her own. She takes advantage of it at solo and ensemble every year, and it's just great to see her bringing her friends together and some strangers together, too, to make music with, and I think that's gonna make her extremely successful in her career path of becoming a music educator, is bringing people together to make music. So I'm very, very proud of the path that Claudia has taken to travel to NKU and be a music educator and a music education major. So a big uh, warm congratulations. <laughs> Thank you.
Now we're cooking with gas. Yeah, we are. <laughs>